Hey guys, Owen here with SDI. I'm joined here with Brandon. Brandon, tell me who you are. Uh, my name is Brandon Hill. I'm the owner of 617 Tactical and SIG okay. Armory in the Phoenix, uh, the North Phoenix area of Arizona. Oh, okay. um, I, our shop started off, we do uh, custom AR manufacturing, specialized in lightweight precision ARs. Gotcha. We also do a lot of custom guns, boutique guns, Cerakoting, stippling, optic cuts. Uh, accessory sales, and then we have a retail business as well. It's uh, growing out. Of, it, it'll hopefully this year be moving into a new location. Awesome, awesome. Tell me about your time trying to a little bit before school. Yeah, so when I was uh, or graduated college, I went to the SIG armor course oh, for okay. uh, the AR-15, M400, M4. Gotcha. When I uh, was in college, graduated college, joined the army. Uh, I was a tanker. When I was in the army, I started kind of doing some gunsmithing for for friends and you know people I had met, and they, that kind of is what started the whole yeah. business, um, and that's what drove me to to continue educating myself, and that's kind of what brought me to. SDI. That's that's so funny because I uh, we were talking to another grad earlier, and he was also a tanker. So okay, nice. yeah. What was your de deciding factor to be like, you know what, I want to enroll at SDI, this is an online gunsmithing school, I mean, what, there are other schools as well, what what made you decide this? It was a couple of factors, one is I met you guys at the Ben Avery Outdoor oh, Expo, okay. uh, which is right down the street from my house, we're about 15 minutes from Ben Avery, Yeah. and uh, the other part of it is just I was I was full-time work, uh, at this yeah. point I've, I've moved to full-time just the business, but for the last five years of running the business, it's been full-time work as a software engineer as well as uh, double dipping in the business and just an online school yeah. really fit in with that. It, that's so funny you say that because I was actually in the process of moving to Tennessee. I, I had a full-time job, network engineer. Um, I you know, had a family and then I was also moving so I was actually in an apartment and so I was, I was like, man, I, I really want to get this started and I was a little nervous because of all the moving parts got started and it, I was able to do, you know, I think like five months in the apartment no problem including the lab and stuff like that with i uh, i'd like to circle back on that because we're talking about a, a gunsmithing school but it's online how was the online experience for you for me it was pretty good I, i've always been a very technical person yeah. so uh that helps a lot it, it does yeah. yes there, there's there's something to be said for already understanding sort of the mechanics yeah. and something like that and and, and being able to apply that in the course. But that being said, the course did cover all of that very well. There was no uh, point where even if I weren't technically apt that yeah. I, I would have been like, oh, I don't know how to do this without more assistance. And if you did need more assistance, there was always the ability yeah. to reach out to your teachers and things like that. It, it's really cool because uh, even on the, the school's platform, you, if the first time you log in, it gives you like a tour and stuff and you and you walk through it and it shows you how to do everything. So it's, it's very user friendly. Yeah. W were there any challenges that you had because it was online? I wouldn't say so. Uh, I mean, it was, it was definitely, there, there were some things like the the lathe simulator where yeah. I was like, okay, well, you know, I, I'm I'm not sure that I could have maybe reapplied that yeah. to a real lathe without relearning some things. But it definitely familiarized yourself. Um, so I wouldn't even call that a challenge. It's still better than not knowing something, I know. right? Yeah, we got a ton of classes. Which one was your favorite? Um, I would say that my favorite class was probably the. Uh, it, it was either. The physics course, um, I'm, I'm a bit of a science person. Like <laughs> I actually awesome. enjoyed learning about all the, the ballistic coefficient and everything. That really helped apply okay. to uh, my business. Because keep in mind, I was running my business, yeah. co coinciding with it, and we specialize in While precision. In and so gotcha. precision and, and ballistics, they go hand in hand. Learning all the, the exterior and interior ballistics of a bullet and everything was was integral to, to building our brand the way that we did. Uh, otherwise, I'd say maybe the 1911 yeah. armorers course, yeah. but that's just because I, I'm a bit of a 1911 junkie. You seem you seem like a numbers guns. guy, so that's I am. Yeah. <laughs> you 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 mentioned that you're doing all these things while you were in school. How did you do that? I don't sleep. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it, it was you know it, it was easy enough. That's one of the benefits of the online class, right? Is yeah. you, know, you can do your nine to five and then log in for a couple of hours, like, you know, make dinner, sit down on the couch, wait yeah. till your kids go to sleep, and then, uh, and, and you can knock it out if you do it in smaller segments. It's not a ton of work at any given point in time. That's, yeah, and, and you're able to really segment your, your time management 
and uh, while juggling, you know, your business and your family and, you know, full-time jobs and stuff like that, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say it was just, you know, a cakewalk, but, you know, yeah, it's, of course it's, not, not. it's not impossible to do either. Now that you're actively, you know, working on your business, you're finishing up school, and bam, now you're graduated, what are you doing now? Uh, so just recently, a couple of weeks ago, I actually transitioned to full-time with the business. Uh, we're currently, like I said, working on expanding to a second location, uh, but mostly it's just been running around like a chicken with no head. I, I've been, <laughs> I, this this last month has been insane. Where yeah. uh, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for us to slow down a little bit so yeah, that way yeah, I, of can, I can start working on some of my pet projects again. But it's just been it's been a busy couple of months. Yeah, my dad always said busy's better than broke. That is true, and it really really applies. But tell us the name of your business and go into a little bit more detail about it. Absolutely. So we, we actually have two two separate businesses. Our retail side is SIG Armory, S-Y-G, not S-I-G. Um, and that's, oh, okay. that's retail sales and, and kind of the, the, the forefront for our manufacturing side. Gotcha. Our manufacturing side is 617 Tactical, and that is going to be our lightweight precision AR manufacturing. We also do some boutique guns, uh, optic cuts, stippling, yeah. seracoding. We specialize in uh, match fit optic cuts and just really precision machining. For people that are watching, how can they find out more information about SIG or 617 Tactical? Absolutely. So uh, we've got our websites. Uh, they both kind of lead to each other, gotcha. but it's 617tactical.com or sigarmory.com. We're also on Facebook. If you're in the Phoenix area, our shop is in New River, so it's the north side of Phoenix, but we're always around and we'd be happy to talk with people. Reach out by phone, text, email, anything. Can you tell us one thing that SDI helped you and is currently still helping you with today? A absolutely. So one of the things that I, I kind of didn't have experience-wise going into SDI was really the business side uh, of, the, yep. of things. And as much as I hated the course, yeah. uh, it actually did help a lot with being able to help it kind of guide where I wanted the business to go uh, going forward out of graduating. And, and it has helped immensely and to the point where now we're opening a second location. So. Yeah. Awesome. Brandon, thank you so much for Absolutely. your time. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.